Igun Leshy presents Catching Porch Pirates. Welcome back to another video here on the Egg Unleshy channel. Today, we're dishing out king-size lead candy bars as these porch pirates do some post-Halloween trick-or-treating at the wrong house. Every year, the squirrels just tear up our pumpkins. So when I walked out the front door and saw the pumpkin in the middle of the yard, I wasn't surprised to find out those little furry bastards were behind it. This year, however, my wife had had enough. Uh, she just kind of mentioned the suggestion of taking care of them. Before she could finish her sentence, I was bounding down the steps with my egg gun lest she too. Smoking tree rats in the front yard isn't what uh, my wife had in mind. So I picked up the pumpkin, brought it back to the table for one, and I settled into the new shooting table. And I'll show you that a little bit here in more just a minute. But uh, it wasn't long before they found the pumpkin, and I settled in for some backyard business. The 25 grain JSB pellets, man, those things hit hard. It's basically like shooting a 25 cal energy wise. pumpkin guy as far as eating them goes uh, but the squirrels that's a whole different story uh, once I put this guy out there they essentially just lined up outside the table for one waiting to be sat by the now infamous Russian hostess the egg unless you too sometimes I know it feels like I'm just sitting here aiming at the thing forever but nine times out of ten I'm actually doing something like tinkering with a camera a scope or something like that or, like in this case, uh, I think my fat ass was just getting my wind back after running down the steps after I saw this guy come down. So I'm looking forward to getting back in fighting shape, but that'll be a whole other story. I have the Mark Shorty 1 to 10X on my 22, so I only film at like 8X though, so it's not as up close and personal as some of my other footage. Uh, let's watch that one again. I'll zoom it in a little bit more this time so you can see just how much energy this 25 grain 22 cal pellet brings. For this one, I brought out the Sony RX100 to film with. It's got a little noise to the footage as you see, as there just wasn't enough light to film with uh, at such high uh, speeds. The resolution gets reduced a little bit. Uh, but man, when the conditions are right, filming in super high speed slow motion shows some unbelievable detail in the energy dump. And I'm going to be exploring with this camera a little bit more up at the farm with uh, definitely on an optic, you know, that's maybe at 30x or something, and it's going to be unbelievable. I love the illumination on these marsh scopes. So on the shorty, uh, it's just a perfect little red dot. There's there's a value of one to six. I don't know what it is in MOA, um, but at one X, it's exactly that. It's this perfect little red dot. And then you can quickly dial it to 10 X, although I have it at eight here. Uh, and it remains just absolutely perfect, especially on these sus lighting conditions like I had today. Here's a quick look at that new shooting table I mentioned earlier. Uh, I was searching for something I could travel with to the farm and I found this really cool option from Caldwell. Uh, it's a table chair combo and it folds up into a really small package, basically within the size of the top. 
of the table here. So it's incredibly sturdy and stable shooting platform, which I was pretty surprised given its price. I think it's like 140 bucks or something. So uh, my only gripe was how slippery the top was. It was like shooting off an ice rink. So I found this super simple solution that you're seeing here. It's like a rubber grip tape. Um, you can cut the pieces however you want, obviously, and then it was just like an instant fix. It was a game changer. So I'll throw a link in the description uh, if you want to check either of these out. And I think, as I said, the tape and the table combined were under 150 bucks. So, I mean, it's a great deal in my opinion. This was the last one on the pumpkin, but not the last of this video. As I went out to retrieve it after I shot this guy, uh, there were ants and maggots all over this pumpkin. It was rotting, it was super gross. So I tossed it before it got worse. I do love this 22 cal though. It's a perfect caliber if you had to choose one. Uh, for one, you can run it hot and you definitely take out back air bullies and then slow it down and drill squirrels and rats all day long. Uh, the other big factor is the ammo availability. So the shortages are not just in the firearm world. We are definitely seeing that too in pellets and slugs, more so in pellets. So uh, there's a ton of options, quite frankly, in 22. And I've noticed a lot easier. It's a lot easier for it to find anything in 22 than certainly uh, in 30. Here's the last pumpkin one and a sneak peek at what might be my favorite scope of all time, the March Optics FX 4.5 by 28. So I'm headed to the farm next weekend to do some hunting uh, with my cousin uh, who's in town and maybe some more long range shooting. Man, I got a whole bunch of new products to test, uh, like the scope, Eagle Vision's new scope cam mount you're seeing here, some incredible new binoculars and rangefinder from Delta Optics, the shooting table, uh, and maybe even some top secret new pellets as companies look to fill the void from the major manufacturers, um, really, to be honest, inability to meet the U.S. market's demand. So lots of stuff uh, to pack into a single day of shooting and which should be a couple of fun videos for you guys to see when I'm done. The rotted pumpkin uh, remnants were still around uh, and they just kept on coming. So I'm going to show this shot in its entirety for educational purposes. Uh, for those unfamiliar with hunting, uh, this is what an instant kill looks like. What you're seeing, however, after is the nervous system shutting down. They'll flop around like this uh, sometimes. And I've noticed a lot of times, majority of the time when this happens, it's just a shot straight to the brain. I'm going to show you one next uh, that's slightly different. In this next shot here, this is another example of an instant kill, but in this case, uh, the pellet goes straight through the brain and then severs the spinal cord right at the base of the neck. So this prevents the spasms that you saw in the previous example. Both examples are appropriate shot placement in my opinion, uh, and one isn't any more lethal than the other. It's just unnerving, uh, pun intended, uh, for someone to see an animal flopping around like that, but I just wanna make it really clear that animal is dead. This one, however, was frozen in time. As I walked back out there uh, to show you, it didn't budge. Next up on the channel, we're going full send on some backyard bullies as they made a late fall push looking to reclaim some territory in my backyard uh, and some closure with the possum who took up residence under my porch. I finally had to deal with that guy. He took things too far.
Thanks for watching the Ed Gun Leshy channel. Want more backyard hunting videos? Grab your favorite beverage and get yourself caught up. There's hundreds just like the one you just watched. Here's a couple favorites to get you started. Mm hmm?